Hello students. In today's lecture, we are going to study the significance of the system matrix elements. In our previous lectures, we derived many matrices for the translation of a light ray through a homogeneous medium, then for the refraction through a spherical interface and similarly for a thin lens and reflection from a spherical mirror. So all these matrices, these are given in this table. This is the uh, matrix for the translation in a homogeneous medium. This is for the refraction through a spherical interface. And this one is for the plane interface, the refraction through a plane interface. And this is the thin lens uh, matrix. And this one is for the uh, refract reflection for, through a spherical mirror. Clear? But now, uh, in our previous lectures, we have found that any optical system can be described by a system ray transfer matrix, which is a 2 by 2 matrix. And we call that matrix as, uh, as a system matrix. The elements of this composite ray transfer matrix usually to in the symbolic form, I have written it as A, B, C, D. It describes the relevant properties of the optical system as we shall see. Be aware that the particular values of the matrix elements of the system depends on the location of the ray at input and output. In the case of the thick lens, which we uh, calculated in our previous lecture, the input plane was chosen at the left interface or the left surface and uh, the output plane was chosen at the right surface of the lens. If each of these planes is moved some distances from the lens, the system matrix will also include an initial and final translation matrix incorporating these distances. However, the determinant of the system matrix has a very useful property. Let's suppose that is the determinant of this matrix, which is AD minus BC. It will always give us an F on an F. Here, N naught and NF are the refractive indices of the initial and final media of the optical system. Clear? Here, <coughs> This matrix is just obtained by the proper by the proper product of many matrices. Uh, similarly, the determinant of this final matrix can also be obtained by the product of the uh, determinants of individual matrix. That is determinant of m will be equal to determinant of m n times determinant of m n minus 1 times and so on up to determinant of m2 times determinant of m1. Informing this product using determinants of ray transfer matrices, all intermediate refractive indices cancel and we are left with the ratio of NO upon NF. As which we discussed in our previous lecture, most often as in the case of the thick lens example, NF and NO both refer to air. In our previous lecture, which where we had a thick lens here to the left and to the right of the lens we assume that the refractive indices are uh, the medium was air so the refractive index here is one and similarly here is also one so the for the thick lens which we discussed in our yesterday's lecture the determinant of that matrix will become 
to unity clear we now uh, examine the implications that follow when each of the matrix elements uh, in turn is zero in symbolic form we have let yf alpha f is equal to a b c d into y0 alpha 0 let we have this equation for a system red transfer matrix and this is the red transfer matrix which represents this one uh, in algebraic relations these matrices will result in algebraic relations it will become that yf is equal to a y0 plus b alpha 0 and similarly for alpha f we will have c y0 plus d alpha 0 so these two equations are here in this red transfer matrix let any one of the element is zero so let's start from uh, starting from d if d is zero here in this matrix if d is zero let me have the first case when d is equal to zero clear then alpha f will be alpha f is independent of alpha naught it will become c y o clear therefore alpha f doesn't depend on alpha zero since y naught is fixed this means that all uh, all rays leaving a point in the input plane will have the same angle alpha f at the output plane which is independent of their angles at input here i have drawn this in this diagram here for the situation when d is zero then alpha f is independent of the input here we have an optical system it is the input plane this one is the out output plane when a point object object which is uh, placed at a height y0 from the optical axis and let uh, array is entering at the first at the input plane at any angle clear at any angle all the emergent rays will uh, will have an alpha f this means that the this angle of the emergent ray is independent of the input uh, angle clear the is here in this figure the input plane thus coincides with the first focal plane of the optical system similarly clear here we see that when d is equal to 0 in this equation or in this matrix when d is 0 then by using this equation alpha f will be equal to c y 0 it is independent of the alpha 0 this means that any ray which is incident at the input plane at any angle with the optical axis it will emerge uh, at the same angle at the output plane clear similarly if a is 0 in this ray transfer matrix when a is 0 second case when a is 0 
so this is the situation which is like the previous one then yf will become equal to b alpha 0 clear when a is 0 here yf will become equal to b alpha 0 this means that yf is independent of y naught clear yf is independent of the y naught which is the altitude or height of the input ray at the uh, or the incident ray at the input plane this means that i have drawn it in the figure this implies that when a is equal to 0 then yf will be equal to b alpha naught clear this implies that yf is independent of y0 or y naught so all the rays departing the input plane at the same angle regardless of the altitude arrive at the same altitude yf at the output plane as shown in this figure the output plane thus functions as the second focal plane this means that any ray of light which is from any height from the optical axis it will always uh, terminate at this point at the output plane clear so this plane acts as a focal plane for the output here this ray has each uh, ray has a different height from the optical axis but all the output rays here uh, at this output plane has the same height yf this means that yf is independent of y0 clear this is for the case this one is for when d is equal to 0 and this is when a is equal to 0 the third case when when b is equal to 0 in the matrix system uh, ray transfer matrix clear then using these equations when b is equal to 0 yf will be equal to a y naught then yf is equal to a y naught this means that yf is independent of alpha naught by using this equation yf when b is equal to 0 then yf is equal to a y naught this means that yf is independent of alpha naught thus all the rays from a point at height y naught at the input plane arrives at the same point of height yf in the output plane the points are then related as object and image points as shown in this figure here in this figure you see that all the rays from a point at height y naught at any angle at the input plane arise the emergent rays the emergent rays uh, also arrives at the height yf at the output plane which is uh, independent of alpha naught clear so all these rays the emergent rays are independent of the uh, angles input angles uh, at the uh, uh, with the optical axis clear this is when b is equal to zero Similarly, also it must be noted here that here A is equal to Yf divided by Yo. Furthermore, this A is equal to Yf over Y0. This matrix elements here A in this matrix element a it represents the linear magnification it represents a represents the linear magnification clear 
similarly for the last element which is c when c is equal to 0 in this matrix so when c is 0 then alpha f alpha f will be equal to d alpha naught clear this means that alpha f is independent of y0 this is analogous to case number third here yf is independent of alpha 0 but however this alpha f in this case is independent of y0 it is independent of the altitude of the ray at the input plane <coughs> input rays all of one direction now here look at this figure when c is 0 the input rays the input rays all of one direction now produce parallel output rays in some other direction moreover by this equation by this equation d is equal to alpha f or alpha naught it is the angular magnification angular magnification any system for which c is 0 for which c is 0 is sometimes called telescopic system because a telescope admits parallel rays into its objective lens and output parallel rays for weaving from the eyepiece so thank you very much